Hi, my name is Madeline and I'm going to be talking about my painting. So I use a method called acrylic pouring to create my painting. Uh, I first came across this method on social media where I saw a woman doing acrylic pours on wooden letters. So after I saw her video, I went online and I researched it and I found out that it's actually pretty easy to do. So I'm not really an artist. I don't know how to paint. I don't know how to draw. I'm not super talented in that. So I figured that this was a good way for me to create a piece that I would actually be pleased with. So you, the materials you need for this are acrylic paint, a paint medium, which can be, for example, like paint conditioner. Um, you also need something to keep your canvas on an elevated surface, uh, resin, a blowtorch, and small containers to mix your paint in. So the basic idea of acrylic pouring is exactly what it sounds like. So you just let your, you pour your acrylic paint on a canvas and you let it flow on its own and that's how the design is created. So the process is you put your canvas on an elevated surface which in my case I just use small cups and I put them upside down and then I put my canvas over them and then I put a cardboard box underneath because the paint was going to flow off of the canvas obviously. So I put my canvas on there and then I used I wasn't able to get all the supplies I needed, like the paint conditioner, so I had to improvise and I got smaller containers and put more paint in there in order to make the paint flow more easily. It'll fall from the cup more easily since it was thicker than it should have been. So then I put my canvas on there and then I mixed my paint, my desired colors, which I actually used pink, white, yellow, and gray. So I put my paint in my cups and then I put them on the desired areas on my canvas and then I flipped them completely upside down and then I left I left it there for a couple of seconds so that the, the paint could begin to flow a little bit underneath it and then you just pick the cups up like straight up and then all the paint goes everywhere on the canvas. Um, since I didn't have a paint conditioner, my paint was kind of thick so it didn't really flow on the canvas as easily as it would have so I had to like tilt it around which is actually part of the technique you can tilt the painting the canvas around so that you can kind of manipulate the way that the design is going so that's what I had to do and these are the ones that I created so I have this one that's pink white and gray I have this one which I used every color on this one is just pink and gray and then this one is yellow and gray and this one oh, this one is actually my favorite one because it's the one that really resembles the the technique the most this one was probably the most successful one as you can see that's the way that the that the paint flowed so the the paint really makes the design on its on its own um, when you're using this technique you will never get two identical pieces um, at the end, you can pour a layer of, well actually, after you pour the paint on it, you can use a blowtorch in order to kind of move the design around and kind of manipulate it in a way. And I didn't have one of those. And then, um, once your paint is dry, you can put a top layer of resin, for example, and also use a blowtorch to dry it. Just to give it a shiny layer on top. And, yeah, it was very fun to do. Um, it was my first time doing this technique and it could have been way better than it turned out but I was missing supplies so yep